Is that your wife, brother? Me? I don't think I stutter. Oh, no, I couldn't hear you when I was a kid and made me blue by my Is that your wife, brother? Yes, that's, that's, that's my wife. Then you are married to an unclean woman, brother. Excuse me? She bathes daily, bro. She, she had a dirty. Lost. Read. Your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such Girl. as elaborate hairstyles and wearing of yeah. gold jewelry or fine clothes. Gold jewelry and fine clothes. Hey, man, can we discuss this another Yeshua time? Yeshua does not approve me. Hell no, he Resist the devil and he shall flee. Hey, bro, I'm not Satan. Get behind me, Satan. No, no, no. Hey, I'm trying to be cool with you. We love the same God. Get me ah! behind me, Satan. Hey, I love Jesus, too. You love the Kalana. Kalana. Blue eye. Blue eye. Blonde hair, Jesus. Silky smooth. Shut your brain wash. No White wash. White wash. Slave master minded. Slave master You minded. love the Kalana. Blue eye. Kalana. Blonde hair. Is that your wife, brother? Here we go with another video. Dealing with a mocker. All praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. This video will be entitled Corny Black People Are Mocking the Hebrew Israelites. <coughs> Corny Black People Are Mocking the Hebrew Israelites. And I got the, um, the intro video from this video right here. One of the brothers from the uh, northern kingdom one of the northern kingdom brothers from the gms phoenix arizona camp the, uh his title his page is uh gms mystery of his will does great videos you should subscribe to the brother's channel and be edified now his video was entitled be ye not mockers lest your bands be made strong all right and i had a chance to check the video out and i went ahead and clipped you know clip the uh intro video from him and i put it in this video that you just saw so this video is entitled as we said you know uh corny black people are mocking the hebrew israelites all right and again all praise to yahweh by hashem yahweh shai and double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone all right so in this video you saw in the beginning the opening and we've seen a lot of videos like videos like this from off of TikTok or different media social media sites where a so-called corny ass or a corny ass so-called black man will or woman will make a video depicting maybe an encounter or a dreamed up encounter with the Hebrew Israelites. This one is one of the weakest. It's so damn corny to the point where this guy's now it's that's not even some of these are funny, but this one is not even funny. And as I joke with the brother that made the original video, these scoffers are getting cornier and cornier. They're getting worse and worse. It's terrible, man. You people can't even fucking scoff right. Anyway, <clears throat> another chance, another chance to bring forth edification concerning this. This is prophetic that people do this, that they mock the Hebrew Israelites. But really, what's going on is Jake has heard the gospel, and their souls. Are uh, adverse to it, and really, with this dude, what it seems like with him is that he maybe he maybe he um, his girlfriend is an Edomite or another nation. That's why he portrayed the brother, you know, our brothers as saying his woman was unclean or whatever. And this dude is just using the wrong name. He, you know, you know what Jake does. They just try to paint us in a negative light, <clears throat> and we just laugh at you, you so-called black people, because you're wasting your opportunity for salvation and repentance. You're wasting your grace period mocking, scoffing, and making corny ass videos. But it's gonna it's gonna be for your destruction. So let's just go into the scriptures now. Um go right here in the book of Jude. It's actually prophetic that this happened, that this happens. This is Jude 1 verse 17. It says, But beloved, remember the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord, Yahweh Shahmashiach. How they told you that there should be mockers in the last time. Is that what we're seeing now? Yes, we're seeing an increase in scoffers, mockers, unbelievers, deriders. You see? Railers. How that they told you there should be mockers in the last time. Who should walk after their own ungodly lusts. These be they who separate themselves 
sensual having not the spirit <clears throat> and an individual like this he ain't got the spirit he's not in the spirit he can't even damn scoff right he can't even get that correct and this TikTok is gonna get a lot of you black people out there fucked up man just to be honest with you this TikTok, this social media got you people acting like like you know what's in the bible you don't know what's going on we know that you don't know you scared this world this word has went out all over the world and, and basically instead of believing in the heavenly father you're wasting your grace period scoffing but that's good that's good so there'll be no excuses when the end comes and it's prophetic that's your mark we just read it <clears throat> let's go through a quick video here a quick lesson and really what's going on is that this gospel has turned the world upside down and jake just can't stand it this right here is act 17 <clears throat> and four you know what we'll not go to verse five i'll start at four it says and some of them believed and consorted with paul and silas and of the devout greeks a great multitude and of the chief women not a few when the gospel was preached among the multitude of, of uh of uh, what's the right word hellenistic israelites a lot of them believed that's who the greeks were hellenized israelites which really meant they would they started going after the customs of the lands in which they dwell just like now many of these greekish israelites many of them are starting to believe a lot of them are afraid and they don't know how to express their fear so they mock and scoff this dude right here is an unbeliever unbeliever excuse me verse 5 says but the jews was believed not moved with envy took unto them certain lewd fellows of the baser sort and gathered a company and set all the city on an uproar and assaulted the house of jason and sought to bring them out to the people and this is really when jake made these mockery videos they really want to paint us in a negative light see they're trying to uh gather companies together to make an uproar and when they found them not they drew jason and certain brethren unto the rulers of the city crying these that have turned the world upside down are come hither also and that's what's wrong jake has gotten the message so they can't say that they didn't know that the warning has not gone out we know that it has and you're having an adverse effect they really you're only going to have one or two maybe three different effects when you get come in contact with the word either you're going to believe it you're going to scoff it and unbelieve and then you're going to mock it see and that's all that's really going to happen so this dude is not a believer so what is he doing he is in the seat of a mocker a pathetic low level unfunny not funny funny light diet light diet funny light right <laughs> zero zero funny that's what this nigga is very not funny that's okay the lord is going to destroy him because it's right here <clears throat> ecclesiastes 27 verse 28 mockery and reproach are from the proud but vengeance as a lion shall lie in wait for them there you go he mocked us he reproached us he's trying to put us in a negative light all on the account of some whack Edomite woman or whack other nation woman, but you could still have her anyway, even if you didn't mock us. That's how pathetic and lowly these beasts are. You could still be with them, even if you don't denounce or mock the Heavenly Father. That's amazing. <clears throat> but you niggas got Stockholm Syndrome. You love your oppressor. You love Babylon the Great. And most of all, you love wickedness. How can a nigga with his nose, his nostrils looking like two trumpets? <laughs> fucking nose all across his face get enough nerve to mock us we make we make this look good okay we bring in more, much clarity to the word of the lord through the holy spirit sent by you how about shimmy how shy and you have the nerve to mock it mr super nostrils it's all good <laughs> this is second chronicles 36 verse 16 we'll start at 15 it says in the lord power of their fathers sent to them by his messengers rising up be times and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place that's why the lord sent us because he has compassion on these israelites that's going to get destroyed if they don't repent but what do they do but they mock the messengers of the most high 
and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy. There was no remedy. That's what's happening. You mocking the messengers of the Lord and there's not going to be any remedy for you. And we can actually show you that Yahweh Shah said this would happen. The same way he was mocked and ridiculed, we're doing the same thing now. Or we're going through the same thing. This is Matthew 10, 24. It says, the disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. It is enough for the disciple that he be as his master and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? You see? So they're going to do the same thing to us. Now I would like to go, if I can, here to the Good News Translation. Let's bring that up. Matthew 10. Right? <clears throat> Matthew chapter 10. Be able to be brothers. Matthew 10, 25. And it reads, so a, pupil, uh, so a pupil should be satisfied to become like his teacher. I'm sorry, I started 24. No pupil is greater than his teacher. No slave is greater than his master. So a pupil should be satisfied to become like his teacher and a slave like his master. If the head of the family is called, here it says, Beelzebul, the members of the family will be called even worse names. And that's what Jake is doing. It's attempting to make us guilty, to make us look like we're crazy. <clears throat> and they're making mockery of us. Because niggas love jokes. This is the NLT. Students are to be like their teacher. And slaves are to be like their master. And since I, the master of the household, have been called the prince of demons, the members of my household will be called even worse names. Fire. NIV is enough for the students to be like their teachers and servants like their masters. If the head of the house has been called Beelzebul, how much more the members of his household? Yep, ESV. It is enough for the disciple to be like his teacher and the servant like his master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebul, Beelz, Beelz, Beelzebul How much more will they malign Those of his household And they're going to do the same thing <clears throat> The scriptures tell us that It's all prophetic And we love it when you do this you Give us an opportunity to make these videos And to condemn you further This is Luke 6.22 It says blessed are ye when men shall hate you And when they shall separate you From their company And shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. Rejoice you in that day and leap for joy. For behold your reward is great in heaven. For in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. You see. But woe unto you that are rich for ye have your consolation. But woe unto you that are full for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now for ye shall mourn and weep. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. All right. So we don't expect these people of the world to speak good things toward us. We expect them to do what they're doing. Mocking, scoffing, laughing with their damn noses across their faces. You know, looking terrible on their on the TikTok videos, acting like they're on some type of moral high ground to judge us. You corny ass black people. <laughs> the Lord gonna destroy your ass. And it is what it is. Alright, that's that's it for the video. The water brothers and sisters for listening. All praise to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Shalom.